So Jesus obviously got his theology from God the Father, but it's very hard for me to kind of pass over how similar Mary's words are to Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane, which is a, like a peak moment of all the Bible, when he basically surrenders to this whole idea of going to the cross. When he's there and he's sweating blood at the idea of it, he finally concedes, not my will be done, but thine. He sounds remarkably just like his mother, who says, Behold, I am the servant, which the actual translation of handmaid would be a slave. She's the lowest class of slave there is, is what she's calling herself. So I'm the slave of the Lord. And let it be to me according to your word. In those days, Mary arose and went with haste into the hill country, to a town in Judah. And she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. And when Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary, the baby leaped in her womb. So much for the question of when does life begin? It's kind of obvious. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. And she exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why is it granted to me that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For behold, when the sound of your greeting came to my ears, the baby in my womb leaped for joy. And blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her from the Lord. All right, so you get that line? I actually said it this way by accident the last time. She's not blessed as though she is endowed with some intrinsic holiness and she can pass on grace and dispense grace to others. She is the recipient of God's grace. She is truly blessed more than any woman ever. And why is she blessed? The key's in here. Because she believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her from the Lord. So, if you believe what the Lord promises to you, you can be blessed as well. Now here's Mary's response, and this is specifically why I say she is to be esteemed above all women and one of the greatest theologians in the Bible. Her response is called the Magnificat, because it's magnificent basically, and it draws strongly from a whole lot of Old Testament scripture. So she is either a very devout, Jew who really studied the Bible, or she's just so imbued with the Holy Spirit, her theology is absolutely impeccable. She says, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked on the humble estate of his servant. For behold, from now on all generations will call me blessed, for he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. 